Now I need to make sure you focus before I do it again. Hey guys, thanks for tuning back in. Um, so obviously today's not the fruit day, it's just um, the day that I review something. Like I've suggested food, it could be anything. So today I actually decided to review a store and I'm gonna explain what happened before I get into everything. Okay, so my cousin, um, my youngest cousin, I have three of them, is getting married in June. So obviously she thought the best idea was for all of us to go to David's Bridal to get our dresses, and she also found hers there by the way, to get our dresses because it was easier um, they have a bunch of different locations where a bunch of different people can go to because she has some people like me who live in southern New Hampshire then live by her and then love that way up in Maine. So it's just a little easier for all of us to go to somewhere that has more of an option like that. Okay, so my experience when we went there, um, there was like three or four of us and then her as well. Her name is Alyssa. Um, that went together while the others went at another date. But when we had come in, um, we had a good experience. Um, we were a little early. There was one girl... Um, helping us obviously because it's one appointment. The one thing I don't like is um, if you go, unfortunately we went during kind of like prom season so it was very very busy but if you didn't have an appointment you weren't getting in that day. So that's something I don't agree with. Yes I do understand they use it because they're trying to make sure everybody gets what they need that signed up for it but they shouldn't just tell people they're kind of out of luck. And that's pretty much what I saw happen to a couple people while we were browsing waiting for our appointment time. But it, you know it is what it is that's that it's a, bri a very busy bridal shop during prom season and you know wedding season which is kind of they coincide sometimes so we had picked out um she had picked out this dress i personally think i look fat in it but that's because i think i look fat in everything but it is a great color it does compliment me but that's just my insecurities but it isn't i'm going to show you a picture of it see it does look nice that was just my personal opinion and everybody's wearing that dress with the belt besides the maid of honor which is her sister is wearing um, a specialized belt but everybody's wearing the same dress the same color same cut same dress so we picked that up at David's bridal um, obviously I ordered it then so I have it and I have it now that's what I was trying to say and but if anybody has ever done any sort of alterations on any dress anywhere you know it's incredibly expensive and that's because they can charge that because you need it altered it's not something that unless you know what you're doing you can do it yourself thank god i have someone like my nana who is a seamstress who could just do it for me and you know not charge me out the wazoo for something that literally i think she said she trimmed about four inches off because i'm pretty short so that's what she had to do but she didn't charge me my leg something like that okay so my cousin, when she went to go get a wedding dress, I didn't go because they didn't honestly tell me about it. I didn't have enough time to you know, get, a get it off from work. Otherwise, I would have been there in a heartbeat. But she had went to David's Bridal, like I said, and she found a dress that she had liked. Um, it is absolutely gorgeous on her. But the woman, or the person that was doing it, I don't know who it was, the person that was helping her appointment, um never really went in to see what her size was and that's more the fact because I love her sister but she's a little bit controlling so she kind of said no I'll do it I'll do it I'll do it which is fine and the lady was like oh okay but I don't I think it is their fault that she didn't go in after and be like okay I need to check the size real quick so they had ordered a size um that is a it's small I'm not gonna lie and this is before we found out she was pregnant she's 14 weeks pregnant as of you know this week so, you know, she has a little bump, which is wicked cute. She's really tiny, so she was we all knew she was definitely going to show. But when she had gone, but this is, like I said before, we had found out she was, like, confirmational, like, pregnant. Um, they went back to order a size up because, obviously, like, it's not even, like, okay, it's a little uncomfortable. Like, maybe, no. The, the back, because she has a corset back, the back two pieces don't come together at all. So it's not even, like, okay, we can try it. No. You're, you're just, you have to order another size up. So they had gone to the store to do that, and they're like, oh, no, no, you're just going to have to, we're not going to order this size up, you just have to take the corset piece off and fix it. So, of course, we're like, oh, that's fucking wonderful. And even if we did try to take it off, it still wouldn't cover her whole back. And it, it would, but it would suck it in, and there would, she would be so uncomfortable, especially when she has a baby bump. So we were talking about other options, like what we could do to make everything work. So what we do is, my Nana is remaking the back panel, and we're going to do it in the purple, which is a plum color. 
Um, she's going to do it in that color that matches our dress. So she has something else that matches us, but she'll still be comfortable in the dress and we won't have to suck her in so hard that something bad could happen, especially when she's, you know, that far along and she's going to be about four and a half, five months pregnant. So she's going to be showing. It's not going to be like something we can try to avoid. So that's something that I know I wasn't a part of that, but I think that is very, very not good and very disrespectful that they couldn't order her size up because we're going to have to totally remake the back panel. It's not something like, oh, maybe we just move this and it'll fit. No, no, that's not how this works. But then, sorry. Um, so obviously, like I had stated before, anybody that has gone to make alterations, they're extra, extra, extra expensive because they can be and especially if you go to a place like David's Bridal you need your dress altered 99.9% .9 of the time so they can charge you that arm and a leg but I suggested I said why don't we go to my Nana um and I offered to pay for it because I love my cousin and you know I can't do much honestly because you know I have my own bills to pay and my own things to do so I offered to pay my Nana so she could alter the dress which it looks beautiful on her like I said so what had happened was um, she's short, shorter than I am. She's still a twig, but she's very short. So obviously, um, we have to hem it in a way that makes everything look pretty, but still like it's not hem, like it's not purpose purposefully done that way. So we're trying to look at different ways because a lot of, she has a lace overlay and yes, that is a pain in the butt, but it's a beautiful, beautiful pattern, but you can't, the way it, it it's patterned, you can't hem it without messing up the pattern. So my Nana find out a good way to do, um, like I think the pickups in certain spots that look like it's supposed to be there but hold the dress up so she can walk without tripping over it and then you obviously have the under layer that she's just got to hem but those layers aren't now messed up they look like they're supposed to be up there and you know she keeps the train because she also bought it for part of the train so I thought it looks beautiful um my Nana's gonna start working on it Obviously her wedding is in the middle of June, so we have about a month and a half, maybe. And you know, all these little details they were talking about that are piling up and they're, they're freaking out because they're running out of time. But they'll be okay. So my point of bringing this story up and telling you everything about it is more the fact that yes, I understand you're a big bridal shop and you gotta push, 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 push stuff out. But you should really pay attention to your clients and you should really be able to cater to them while they're there. Obviously don't cater to them while they're there and he's bum crack. But, like, if they're there for an appointment, pay attention to only them, make sure you get their size, make sure everything fits correctly, make sure you help them if they come in and say, oh, shit, you guys ordered me wrong size, I need another size. Don't say no. Like, seriously, like, I'm sorry that you guys are going to lose some of that and you're going to have to put it on the sales rack, but it was your fault in the first place. You should have gone to make sure she had the right size and then get her another size if she needs one. So that was more of my opinion. Like, yes, they're a good shop. Yes, they have nice dresses. But their customer service skills are seriously lacking. And I'm not saying I'm a great customer service person because I know I'm not. I have my problems. But working in customer service most of my life, that's what really bothered me. So I need to let everybody know that, yes, they do have amazing dresses. And they have all those amazing deals. But their customer service skills are seriously, seriously lacking. Okay, thank you guys for tuning in. I will see you on Friday with some tofu.